question is from Force Fitness Kyle. I'm a new parent and also a trainer. Do you have any advice on how to balance being a husband, father, and trainer while keeping my own fitness up? Mm. You know, um, use fitness as a tool, and, and that tool can be wielded in many, many different ways. Um, use the force, Kyle. You, <laughs> he's, you're still in that space. Uh, it, it, it's in his name. Yeah. yeah you know, years ago, um, I went through a very, very difficult time. Somebody very close to me was uh, diagnosed with a, you know, a, a, a disease that was going to take their life, and my whole family was affected very, very terribly. And I didn't stop exercising. Now, it's not because I'm a fitness fanatic and zealot and I'm not going to miss my workouts for anything type of deal. No, no, no. That's not what it was. I changed my workouts. I didn't work out as often, but I stopped training to get stronger, build muscle and burn body fat. I, I started training to keep myself healthy enough mm -hmm. to help my family during this difficult time. Mm -hmm. So really it was changing the focus. Fitness is an amazing tool. So if you're super, therapy. Yeah. If you're super busy, exercise can be an incredible stress relief, make you fit and healthy so you can handle more stress, modify it. It becomes a different tool. It's a tool that can be modified uh, to your lifestyle. I think this is a really good question because I, I do um, I do know it's challenging as a trainer, right? Because you you are your own billboard, right? So there's a there's a part of you that, you know, feels like shit, I can't I can't just look kinda healthy. Yeah. I need to look a certain way to attract clients and it's part of my brand. And so I I, I, I can understand how how that can be a little bit more challenging because Personally, I just my fitness has changed right now, uh, and it's right in line with what you just said, Saul. Is you know I'm less worried about PRs. I'm less worried about what my abs or my arm, my biceps look like, and it's more like about getting movement and staying mobile and making sure that I don't get chronic pain and getting my steps in and you know and you know talking about father, husband, uh, and fitness all wrapped into one. Like I do things now, and and I'm. I'm very conscious of, of making this choice is, you know, I won't just go work out sometimes for an hour, but I'll make sure, Hey, I'll strap the baby on my chest. I'll grab Katrina and we'll go for a walk yeah. for an hour, hour and a half. That's right. So he falls asleep. I get one-on-one -on -one time with her. Yep. I'm getting a bunch of steps in. So I'm burning calories. Like, so I do a lot more stuff like that now. And I, and I feel really good about it. Yeah. Uh, it's not making my physique look impressive by doing that, but it keeps me healthy. It helps me work on my relationship with my partner. It gives me quality time with my son. I feel like I kind of knock out all those things that are what you just listed that are extremely important. You just got to shift your goals a little bit this time and be okay with that. And right now, uh, I'm really happy if I get in the gym three days a week. If I get three good lifts in a week, um, that's solid for me. That's enough that I know that I'm not going to like completely spiral out of control or regress way back or put on a ton of body fat. That keeps me in a, in a relatively comfortable body fat percentage, keeps me relatively strong and a physique that looks like I work out. I just don't look impressive right now. But more importantly, uh, my, the, the higher priority things, my time with my son, my time with Katrina, those things are, are, are way more important to me right now. And so I prioritize them first and find ways to fit fitness into yeah. that. I think that's great advice. I think that's that, that was the, the direction. I can't even speak. The direction <laughs> I was going to go, uh, being more inclusive and like like having you know your partner and and uh, you know ways that you can incorporate uh, the family involved in movement and and being able to exercise and you know for me like obviously we we've talked about having a home gym and like <clears throat> that wasn't as you know appealing for me like when I was just like focused on myself and then you know you know my own self improvement but that. That was a game changer for you know being able to have access to that and then also like building the environment around me outside having things available to then go climb on do pull-ups do whatever it's just like you gotta you have less moments less long moments to yourself right mm -hmm. so you'll have short moments to yourself you just figure out how to maximize those moments and also include people in your process yeah it, you know fitness long-term fitness success is based on the following Use it to improve and supplement the quality of your life. That's it. It's not supposed to replace life. So if you have your mindset stuck on the, I work out six days a week, I'm shredded, I'm going to always maximize my performance, I'm going to have this six-pack abs, I'm going to look super buffed, and then you become a father and a husband and you have a business or you're working and you think, no, I'm not doing all those things because I need to, I'm obsessed over... Your fitness now is going to be detrimental to your health. 
Instead, look at it and say to yourself, how can fitness supplement and improve or contribute to the quality of the most important things of my life? And so that means that your fitness routine is going to look different. That's all. It's mm -hmm. just going to look different. Sometimes you're going to work out five days a week. Sometimes you're going to work out two or three days a week. Sometimes your lifts are going to be heavy and hard, and sometimes they're going to be more mobile, mobility focused and full range of motion and you know, just trying to feel good and maintain your health. That's all. And if you do that, because here's the deal, life changes. Life is going, look, 100%, if you think life's going to stay the same, you're in for a rude awakening. It's going to change. So allow your fitness to change along with your life and you will develop a lifelong healthy relationship with fitness and you'll find that you'll never get into those you know situations where I stopped fitness for six months because I can't do it the way I want to. Uh, that's when it becomes a problem.